Hello, so today we're going to row 2,000 metres for time. The 2K row is the set Olympic distance for rowing and it's one of the hardest physical tests you can do. Rowing 2,000 metres is easy but when you're trying to row it for a specific time and do a max effort test, it's incredibly hard and it requires a strategy to be able to do that. So I'm going to walk you through a quick strategy, then I'm going to head over to the gym, set my camera up and then give the 2K a go. So, when, a, when taking on a 2K row, um, you shouldn't go in just trying to get a random score. You should roughly know what speed and what time you're going to get. And you, you set yourself a 500 meter split time as a target to hold uh, throughout, rowing, uh, throughout the row. So when we talk about rowing, we talk in split times. So my goal today is to average 142 throughout the whole row and that will give me a 648 time. I'm kind of hoping for more 645. But I'm going to aim off, because I haven't rowed for a while, I've actually been on a row for nearly six months because of Covid um, and I've not really been back to the gyms yet, so this is going to be quite a test for me. But I'm going to try to hit 6.45 today, but my actual target is kind of 6.48. So my goal is to hold 1.42, so I've got this very complicated graph here. So on this, on this side is split time, so that's split per 500 metres. And I've just got from 1.37 to 1.46, because that's probably the range I'm going to sit in. And then, find, and then on the bottom here I've got 0 to 2k, splitting the row up in 250 meter intervals because it's just the best way to kind of think about the row. So this is like the strategy that I'm going to adopt today and if you're going to do a 2k I'd kind of have this in mind or well, at least go in with a plan and I feel this plan is kind of the one that tends to work. So my goal, this, the, this blue, uh, blue line here is 142. So at the end of the 2k I want my average split to be 142. The green line is how I'm going to row. So in the first 250 meters, I'm going to come out hard. I'm going to really, um, I'm going to do like a sprint start, get the fan going, and get the average split on my side uh, to start with. So what I don't want to do is have some really weak start, um, some really weak pulls to start off with, and start down here somewhere, and then chase the average split throughout the row. What I want to do is get off to a good start, get the average split saying 130 something, and then settle into my row. So I'm going to do a few hard pulls. I'm going to lengthen, 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 and then I'm going to settle in to my pace. So I'm going to come out hard, start seeing 137s, 136s, 135s on the machine. Then once I kind of hit that 135, it's going to be my target. I'm then just going to start easing off the pace. The fan wheel will be spinning like crazy, so I'll better get some like easier strokes in, and then I'm going to sit at my pace. So if my target's 142, I want to go out hard, and then I just want to sit just below my target. So I'm going to try to do the majority of this race this race, this uh, event, this uh, test, just under, uh, sitting about 143, even 144. So by the time I hit that 250 meter mark, I'm gonna wanna just be settled in, 143, 144, into a nice long rhythm. So the first 250 meters, you're gonna feel strong. So you're not gonna win the race, you're not gonna like win the row in the first 250 meters, but you definitely can lose it. Because you're going to do a 2K, you're going to feel absolutely fine in the first 250 meters. But what's going to happen is if you kind of, if I start sitting at 140s, 140s, yeah, 140s, 139s for too long, then I'm just going to start to blow up and I'm going to have nothing in the back end of this distance. And it's a long race. Uh, if I'm going to be doing 645, that's a long time rowing. So, especially holding a max effort pace. So, I do not want to be sitting above that line for too long. And this is what I mean, you have to have a strategy because if you get that pacing wrong, you'll get around this mark, middle of the race, and then you'll start to crash and you'll just blow up and then you won't be able to finish the, uh, the event. And whenever you see people do 2K rows, you always see them with 750 to go, 800 meter to go, and they just stop because they just hit this massive wall just because they've gone out too fast and, haven't, and, and got nothing left in the final part. So the best strategy is get up the pace. And if you imagine riding a bike downhill, when you pedal, um, when it's going really fast downhill, you're hardly pedaling, right? You're hardly putting in any effort, but you're getting max speed. Think of that as rowing. Once you get the fan wheel spinning, you're gonna, I'm gonna have some very easy strokes in this section at 137, 138, 139, where I'm not really putting in the effort, but the fan's catching up with me. So get the fan going first, have a few easy strokes, and by the time I hit 200, 250 meters, I want to be bang on my pace. Now I'm someone like, I'm someone that likes to sit at 26, 28 strokes a minute, not really. I don't really like going slow down, I don't really like going too far, far, too much faster than that. So 26 to 28 strokes a minute is bang on the kind of stroke rate that I want to hit throughout this, um, throughout this road. So by the time I hit 250 meters, I want to be hitting 143 splits at 26, 28 strokes a minute, more 26. 
Okay, and then I settle into my pace. I get to 500, I feel fine. When you do a test, that 500 comes really quickly. All of a sudden you're like, oh right, 500 meters in. It does come really quickly. And then I'm in the bang middle of the race. So that this next K, 500 down to the 1500 meter mark, is all about concentrating, staying long, staying tall, uh, thinking about long arms, long legs, every single stroke. It's a lot of strokes. You're probably hitting 220 strokes or so for a 2K race. So you've got to think this middle 1K is where your pace is going to go all over. The, this is where you're just going to know if you're going to finish and, and hit your target. So in this middle 1K, you just want to be thinking long arms, long legs, everything under control, controlling your breathing, settling into a good rhythm. So I'm going to hold that. Once I get to the 1K mark, you will hit a bit of a you're gonna hit a bit of a mental wall of like you still got a K to go, but the final K, there's a lot that happens that will take your mind off, oh, I'm only halfway. So once you, know, once you get down to that K, the K to 1250 is where you start looking at your form. You really think about sitting big, sitting strong, and if you picked up any kind of, you feel your posture's going a bit, that's when you really need to tidy it up and focus on 250 meters of good strokes. You get to the 750 mark, or 750 to go, the 1250 mark, and 12.50, if you make it to 12.50 and you've still got something in the tank, you're going to finish. So if, I'm, my, if my goal is to get 142 and I'm kind of sitting at 142.5, 143 average split in the final uh, and I get to 12.50 and I feel okay, I'm, I'm going to finish this race and I'm probably going to hit my time. I just need to put in a bit more hard graft. If you get to that 12.50 and you're gassed, you're just not going to finish. It's still too far to go. So that's kind of like a marker. So you can pick yourself up and have a bit of confidence. That if you make it to 12.50, you're going to finish this event and you are going to kind of most likely hit your time. You just got to dig deep and kind of and finish off the race. 12.50 to fight for the 1500 meter mark is the worst part because you are in absolute no man's land. You're too far away to start sprinting or speeding up, but you're at a a crucial part of the race where you've got to hold your split. So this 1250 down to 1500 meters, stay positive, stay big, stay strong, and get to that 1500 meter point. Once you have 1500 meters, 500 meters to go, I personally start counting in sets of 10. So now this is when I start upping my pace. I've just passed 15 meters. I've been on 143, 144 the whole way. Hopefully the split is still around the 142 mark, or maybe 142.5 or something. And then in this final little sprint, I've just got to pull my average back up so I hit 142 average overall. So as I pass that 1500 meter mark, I start counting in sets of 10. That's what I do. I'll go like 10 long strokes. So I'll go one, two, you know, sit big for 10, sit big for 10. So I do 10 big strokes. Once I get to 10, then I count down nine, eight, seven, and roughly every 10 strokes is 100 meters. So in each little section for that, I just focus on counting to 10 and pull in harder every single stroke. I don't want to see, once I pass this 1500 meter point, no more 144s, no more 143s. I need to be hitting 142s. The next set of 100 meters, 141s. The next set, 140s. And then as I get to that final 200 meters, I want to be seeing 139s, 138s, 137s on the clock. Yeah, on the screen. One foot, you know, so once I kind of get across this line, I'm seeing no more of these 140 numbers. This is when I'm going to have a little bit of a sprint finish. And, you know, uh, it's not going to be a flat out sprint. You're going to try and you're going to have no power left, but you just want to creep it up one or two pips, you know, jump one or two kind of um, speeds on the average sp on your split, and that will be enough to kind of pull your average up. And then finally, the final 100 meters, I, I tend to count in sets of three, almost like I'm doing like four sets of three, really hard pulls. One, two, three, and again, one, two, three, and again, one, and I'm just being as aggressive as I can, big pulls, big pulls, and that final pull, when, as soon as you start seeing anything less than 20 meters, do not slow down, you know, you wanna be finishing, even if you've got less than 10 meters, you wanna still be doing that hard stroke as you cross that line. So many times I see people hit the 20 meter mark, do a light, really light, rubbish pull that comes down here somewhere, you know, in the 140s, and then they just cruise across the line and lose a, a few dots on their splits. So let's say there, I, I might be sitting on 141.9, then I cruise over, then it goes back up to 142. You know, so I've, I've lost a bit of time just because I've like minced over that line. I want to be powerful over that line and then I collapse. Okay, so that's the plan. Go out hot, controlled hot, hard pulls, set into my pace, stick at my pace, stay positive, think about good rowing technique. Then once I hit that 1500 meter point, sets of 10, sets of 10, sets of 10, and then in that final 100 meters, four sets of three big pulls to finish up with.
If you start too low, then you spend a whole race climbing this line and you might have too much to do at the end. If you go too hot and you stay above this dotted line for too long, you end up crashing, 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 and you probably stop at 1700 meters. So at the, yeah, at 1250 meters, you'll probably stop at that point because literally just stop because you won't have anything uh, in the tank to keep going. There'll be too much blood in your arms, too much blood in your legs, so your lungs will be all over the place, too much lactic through the body, and you won't be able to stop. Uh, so you won't be able to continue, so you'll probably just stop around that point. So if you go out too hot, that will happen. If you go out too cold, you're gonna have too much to do. So controlled start, settle, finish strong. Okay, um, something else to bear in mind is to have a good warm up if you are going to do a 2k row. So when I get to the gym in a minute, I'm going to do a thousand meters of warming up and 250 meters stand So I normally do 250 meters without straps, so I just stand on the pedals and you'll see this when I film it. And I do 200 meters steady, I then strap in, do 200, I get up, shake off, I then strap in, 250 meters steady again. Then I do 250 meters at uh, probably at 146, then I do 250 meters at 142 shake off in between each one and then I'll get going. Okay, so that's my strategy, that's the plan. The theory behind rowing is easy, the execution's a little bit harder, but I'm feeling good-ish, so I'm gonna give it a go. So I'm gonna head over to the gym now, set this camera up and give it 2K a go. time 6.46.9 uh, I set the right pace all the, all the way at 142 143 I just didn't have anything left in the sprint to pull it down a little bit more so under 148 was under 648 which I wanted but just short off 645 but uh, yeah that's my baseline now that's what I work off all right hope you enjoyed that All right, now I've calmed down a little bit. I can talk to you about split times. So, uh, it breaks down the 400 meter splits. I was holding 140 on the first 400, then 142.3 to 0.8 on the next three lots of 400, and finally 139.8 on the final four. So, I just needed, it's perfectly paced, I just needed a little bit more on that final 400, and I would have got that just under 6.5. But overall, pretty happy. So, Look at my strategy, think of a time, find a rower, give a 2k test to go, and then post your times in the comments. Good luck.